Hello, fellow Zaddies. Welcome back. Let's dive in and see what is coming up for you in the next 30 days. What are the messages for my beautiful Zaddies for the next 30 days? For the extended, I have their current feelings and their actions towards you. So quite interesting. You may want to watch, but for the members, it's already on the members list. All right. So, Saj, what is going on for you in the next 30 days? Got the death card wanting to come through. Going through a huge transformation. Nice. Two of wands and the nine of wands coming through. Some of you may feel like you are, you need to constantly defend your choices to someone in your surrounding or to people. And it's like, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to defend every choice you made. You have free will and you should not be able, like you should not be in a state where you need to constantly defend the choices that you make in your life. So that is a, yeah, see five of swords at the bottom of the deck. I felt it. I just felt this five of swords coming and I feel like you're doing a great job in protecting your energy field because there are definitely people that are hating on you or kind of like trying to put some negativity upon you and I feel like you are com completely aware of this and you're blocking that out. <clears throat> so maybe by blocking that out, you are also choosing a new direction or a different pathway for yourself or a different way of presenting yourself right um, presenting yourself in a way where you stand more for what you believe or standing your ground in a situation just checking the microphone so yeah i feel like you are the last man standing that is definitely saying that you are going through a phase where you just feel a lot of attacks going going on so there could be like a psychic attack thing going on because i really sense this energy as well for quite some time so it's it's like finally coming through in the readings but this is what i have been also sensing around me so this is something that you may need to do as well protect your energy protect your territory so to speak then we have the four of cups with the six of pentacles so some of you where this is coming from is that you give a lot of yourself in a generous way uh, money wise you take care of people you always be there for them but you feel like you're being rejected when you ask something back in return you feel like people don't show you the same generosity right like the thing with saji sagis are super super generous like they are always there for people they always help people but when they need help and people are not showing up for them then they can get a little bit in that nine of wands energy and stop giving what they were giving and you know with people when you stop giving them what they want they they start to change their faces and yeah there was another saying that came through, but then I just kind of like slipped away. You know, when these heat waves come, it's like my brain start, starts to get heated. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I cannot work in like warm countries, actually. Like, although it sounds all like glamorous and stuff, but I just cannot like... The Ten of Pentacles... The Ten of Swords. Some of you, you may have experienced family members that have been betraying you and you are walking away or you're putting an end to some relationships within the family. People that you are really committed to, people that you uh, know for a very long time or you were very loyal to them, but you felt like these people were not loyal in return. And I'm really, so really talking about family situations here. Okay, they, it might have been a very painful betrayal or something very painful that you needed to walk away from. And it felt and feels like it comes out of the blue, right? Like the Ten of Swords just popped up. Uh, it's like you knew that someone was rejecting you or rejecting helping you, but you never saw it coming like this. So it's like something opened up your eyes here. Then we have the Three of Pentacles. 
paired with the three of swords yeah some of you are losing your faith in working together with people or people that you put on the pedestal because the three of pentacles could also be an indication that you you've been putting people on the pedestal and now you're getting the short end of the stick and uh, you are i want to see what more because now we have two threes here i wonder if there is like an underlying message here queen of pentacles eight of cups reversed the hangman what is this talking about let me just tune in This is seriously the second time ever in a Sag reading that I'm just like, I don't know what the heck this is talking about. I had this last last reading as well. And it's weird because I have not had that in any of the other readings, but something in your energy, Sag, it's like unreadable. Maybe it's also because you are protecting your energy so well that even me as a Sag reader, I'm not able to tap into something and maybe you're being very secretive about this. Like maybe you are not sharing something that is really hurting you. It's like a trauma maybe that you've gone through and you, you don't feel comfortable talking about this. It's something that has been done by a third person. For some of you, it could have been a feminine energy, a female, someone that is quite wealthy, that has a lot of money or it has like a very wealthy background. Let's, let's say that. Mm, I wonder if we can go a little bit deeper here because I feel like last reading I had the same thing what is this talking about I mean this is something that you are trying to overcome you may need to let go of working together with a group of people as well maybe this is saying that you are well better like you are better off alone and focusing on yourself rather than trying to get this help from other people because it will only break your heart uh, and that's only because not everyone is as as focused as you are uh, some of you are leaving like a work situation behind What is this talking about? A marriage. This might be about a marriage. You're leaving a marriage behind or a commitment that you had. A coffin. Okay, this is most definitely an ending of a commitment. I mean, we do have toil and labor here for some of you. This is also a repetitive message that I keep on getting about changing something within your career field or ending some type of commitment where you got the end, like the short end of the stick with. The Queen of Pentacles is telling me that you are very wealthy here or you're about to get very wealthy. So you're not supposed to be codependent on other people unless you have like a contract, obviously, then you are codependent on the, the, the salary. But for others of you that do want to expand and work for yourself, you're going to be very wealthy if you do choose this direction because you know how to depend on yourself. And I feel like depending on other people has just broke your heart. And this might be something that you need to change your mind on and start working on yourself to get less code codependent on other people. But I do definitely see like an ending of a commitment here. Even if it's a marriage, I feel like this has more to do with your work life. Then for others of you, it could be marriage, but I'm not really getting that. I'm not. Let's see what more. What is going on financially for Sagittarius? Finance, money, career. What can you expect? Mm, okay, the lover's card and the devil. So it's like, you can't live with it, you can't live without it. That's the type of energy. 
Like you love what you're doing, but you also get annoyed as fuck in regards to what you're doing. So there's like a thin line between love and hate here when it comes to your career. So yeah, that's funny. For others of you, you might be too in love with what you're doing. I mean, that could also definitely be like a sad thing. Like, oh my God, I love what I'm doing and I just love it. And da -da 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 -da. But like deep down inside, you also know that that's not healthy or, I mean, it could be interpreted in two ways, right? Like either you are so in love and so full of yourself on what you are doing that it's becoming like obsessive, right? Or you show off that you are so in love with what you're doing while deep down inside you have like this codependency and attachment that is unhealthy. I mean, no, actually I said it wrong, I believe. I'm not sure. I need to recap that. But I, I meant more in a sense that you love what you're doing, but deep down inside you also know that there are a lot of difficulties and things that are restraining you, restraining your freedom, restraining what you love doing, right? So you have also a lot of things that you feel stuck about when it comes to your work. So that was a funny message, Saj. Let me know which one suits you because I think it could be definitely 50-50. I mean, there are 10,000 people that could be watching this reading. So obviously it's going to be different slightly for each and every one of you the seven of pentacles the ten of wands the four of swords the king of cups and the nine of pentacles now seeing these cards popping up like that it also just feels like you could be overworking yourself like when a sag people don't really know this about sagittarius like they always feel like they are the life of the party and they are always like not that serious and all of that well sagis can be super determined and super serious especially if if everything revolves about their life of, at work they can disappear they can ghost you they can be like all up in their own business and not minding anyone else's business and they wouldn't accept anyone minding their business either but I think that you might be just overworking yourself. There are some projects that you may need to reconsider because it's, it's putting a lot of load on you and you could be working yourself into another burnout if you are not careful. So needing to balance things out because overworking could also be something that you need to be watching out for and taking enough rest, taking a lot of, break, a lot of breaks or, or enough breaks for you to fulfill yourself emotionally, to fill your own cup, okay? So again, let me say that I strongly feel like you Sagittarians, you cannot even do something that you don't love doing. Like that is, I think, impossible for a Sagittarius, right? Like you, you guys are a sign that can only do what they love doing or that's the only way that you can truly find your success because we Sagittarians, we, we get so excited, we want to know, we, we, we are so eager. And because of this eagerness, you will only do what you want to do. And nobody can make you do something that you don't want to do. So that those two elements don't really go well anyway, right? So I think that um, obviously my main point here is that you definitely do what you love doing in your life. It's something that you put a lot of love and a lot of emotions and a lot of energy in but there is also a need for you to put that love towards yourself even if what you do represents you as a human being as a as a as a status or whatever the case is you have to put yourself first and love yourself enough as well you have a lot of independence and freedom in your future which is actually indicating that you are free to move and do whatever you want to do financially you are very well off is just like emotional balance needs to be required and needing to be patient with your own progress here temperance card you know that's your energy well that was uh that was interesting you're planting the seeds also towards your future. If you feel like right now you are overworking, but you're not getting anywhere, or you feel like you're going uphill here with this 10 of wands, 
Spirit is saying like you planted those seeds. It's just like this carrot that you plant beneath the soil, right? Like it needs time to grow. And once it grows, it will show its beautiful, fresh colors. And that's where you're heading with this nine of pentacles. So right now in the pentacle sense, you feel a little bit stagnated. You feel like, okay, I'm doing so much. I don't know where I'm planting my seeds, but the nine of pentacles is saying like, eventually you'll see the changes that you are making for yourself today, later on in your future. Purity, seeing the soul within. Nice. And walking away, the situation is not serving you. Hmm. Walking away probably from a family dynamics or people that you felt like failed to commit to you. Communication, bridging, confusion and clarity. I'm going to be checking in with that, I think, in the extended because we're going to dive into your love life. But I do want to see because I don't feel like we've got anything truly concer uh, con concerning love here, right? It's like life is just taking over. You're just like focusing on different paths in your life right now. Four of Pentacles, holding back on communication here. And that could be one of the reasons why you're also walking away because you feel like... You know, you need to get like with with a pain, like worse out of this person and you're just a little bit tired of that. Knight of Pentacles, there is so slow communication. Things are slowly moving forward. Could have been like maybe four months that you didn't speak with this individual and now you're deciding to walk away. Uh, I do see that there is a new beginning that is coming and it's going to be something unexpected or something that you do, did not see coming. The future is still unclear when it comes to what the outcome is going to be. But I can guarantee you that there is going to be a new beginning. It's just like it comes out of the blue. And I think that this person is going to be popping up. But the, the moon is like uncertainty. So it's uncertain when this person is going to come up. Knight of Cups, but they will... They're going to come in with love. Could be dealing with a Pisces individual. Yeah, this person wants to reunite. This person still feels a strong attack, attack, uh, um, strong connection with you. And I get that this person has been trying to manifest you or trying to telepathically get you physically attracted to them or even like trying to arouse you telepathically or manifesting that so if you felt like out of the blue feeling heat waves within your body yearning for them it could be them so this is uh, that's just like a small little detail that I wanted to share with you so thank you so much my dear Sagittarians I hope to see you in the extended where we go deeper into the situation with your person and I catch you there ciao